Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West Channel. Well today I want to do a fun challenge with some punk wood. I've picked up a lot of punk wood from all around the yard, mostly under these water oak trees. And I just want to see if I can make some charred punk wood, fueling the fire only with punk wood. So I know it's going to work. It's going to take a very long time to do this. It is in various states of decay, but it's always going to be spongy when you press in on it, it's going to spring right back out. Here's some on the inside of this piece. It's got some dirty punk wood, but it's spongy. It should work just fine. Here's another one that sort of has the bark on it. So let's go ahead and start our fire with some charred punk wood. My steel is made from a Nicholson file. And we're using Georgetown Chert this morning. All right, I just tried to ignite them. They would not ignite under a shower of sparks, so I turned them all over 180 degrees. Let's see if that makes a difference. Ah, we got one to ignite. Let's go ahead and put it on some punk wood and get this thing started. Oh, I love the smell of burning punk wood too. And we're just gonna start piling up the punk wood on there until we get some coal started. It's gonna be a slow process now, so don't know how I'll edit it. I think that I will video everything in regular speed instead of time lapse and just go ahead and choose the best scenes to show you this piece I'll and it's a little bit damp I'll put it on the bottom of the hobo stove That's a good piece there. We'll throw that in there. That is that is really soft and lightweight. Let's get some of that kind of wet bark off of that. We'll try to use some of that also.
Normally you wouldn't want to overstuff your char tin, but this is, this is really gonna shrink up a lot. On the inside, I do not want it to press up against that hole and seal it off. So there is a space right there. And gases will be able to escape through that very large vent hole. All right, let's go ahead and rake it into the hobo stove. Turn it towards the wind and just let it heat up. That is going to turn into one of the biggest embers ever. And that's when we'll go ahead and put the char tin on there. Punk wood cooked charred punk wood. All right, let's cool it off and we'll give it a try. Now for the fun part, let's try some of it out. I did not get it all charred. The fire was not hot enough but there are some good pieces in here. That one's not fully charred. Let's go ahead and use it first. Here's one that's not fully charred. We'll try to use it. And then all these pieces here. Give it a try. See if anything else is ignited. No, nope, that's it on it. So we'll just go ahead and start this partially charred piece. We'll stick it on top of it. Let's try it again. So those little pieces usually that's gonna ignite.
And we'll try it one more time. Now. Now, let me set you up with a long shot so you can see what's going on. <laughs> we'll do the best we can. I don't think that I don't think my camera's out far enough. Let me go ahead and adjust. Sometimes I try to do too much, but that's all right. It's all good practice. I enjoy it. I guess if you've been on the channel very long, you know that I thoroughly enjoy this. All right, y'all. Appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.